my mother, Mayna Valentine, Brian Titus to spot tonight. Mum, Rayma. Yes. <laughs> Tell us about yourself and who you are, your family. I'm the wife of Bruce Valentine Jones, mother of Simone Valentine Jones, and her six grandchildren. Beautiful grandchildren. Very beautiful grandchildren. Um, uh, and uh, I have uh, at the moment three other grandchildren, but we're expecting two more. So, but it's not me. Uh, not yet. That's right. <laughs> I grew up in Perth, actually, and uh, my experience of, uh, um, of church as I grew up was um, of a uh, very different church to uh, what you're used to, Simone, and uh, a much more ceremonial church that uh, uh, has its background in uh, a more Catholic uh, outlook, and, uh, uh, and as such, I never really learnt uh, what Christianity was about. I just, uh, it was something you did and uh, it didn't really have a lot to do with what you believed. Uh, but my father and my mother were people who believed very strongly in, uh, in um, God, King and Country and uh, good civic behaviour which was supporting the church. So we, uh, as a family, we uh, supported the local church. Uh, and, uh, but I, I, was a, I was a goody goody, I have to say, and my, um, uh, I like church, I like being good, being a good person. My problem with church was that uh, um, being good fell short of the mark all the time. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't how um, uh, well behaved I, I was in the end I couldn't really uh, get it all right because I didn't know when it was right and when it was wrong. And uh, what happened was uh, when I reached uh, the point where I was moving from uh, childhood to adulthood, leaving school and starting work, uh, um, I, I was really interested in finding an answer to this problem of not really being able to uh, to make right decisions or know if I'd made right decisions all the time. Some things yes and some things, things not. But it was, uh, it was a, uh, an unsatisfactory outlook and, uh, and uh, it bothered me. Then, um, as I was thinking about all this very briefly, uh, it, it occurred to me that uh, God was the creator of the universe, and uh, this was an, an in, it was an unbelievably complicated thing. It was so vast that my mind couldn't grasp that, uh, and yet at the same time, uh, the microscopic world of God's creation was so small that uh, I couldn't imagine the complexity of that either. And so it struck me. One of the, re the reason why I couldn't make right decisions all the time was because I didn't actually know what God's plan was. Um, and uh, uh, he had a plan, but what was it and how would you know? Uh, so I, it struck me that I had a choice. I could continue being myself and uh, running, uh, playing sort of a hit and miss sort of thing, have a go and uh, hope it's right, or I could just hand over to the person in charge, who knew? And it wasn't very complicated. <laughs> and so that's what I did, and to my absolute amazement, um, I uh, found myself ha having a great weight lifted off my shoulders, which was a great surprise. And I found that uh, um, I was no longer living my life for my own benefit of being good. I didn't care anymore who I was impressing because that's what being good was all about. As long as I knew that God was pleased with me relying on him and that made such a massive difference to my life uh, that uh, uh, many things changed. But it was an individual thing because I didn't know people got converted 
and I didn't know I was that had happened to me or that anyone else had ever ha had anything happen to me. And it was a matter of maybe six years before I uh, met other Christians and discovered that uh, there was a Bible you could read, as distinct from uh, the old uh, uh, King James Version, and that uh, lots of people had be had um, handed their lives over to God. And then I also worked out the place Jesus played in the whole thing because I've never worked that one out either. Um, and it's hard looking back now to think how ignorant I was uh, after a lifetime of belonging to the church, but I was. Uh, and um, it was uh, a long journey then uh, as I came to live in Sydney and uh, got married and uh, uh, discovered what the Bible was all about. Thank you.